So, in this video, we're going to talk to you about some seriously cool stuff you can do with your smartphone. This is a collaboration with Super Extreme Videos, so if you enjoy it, be sure to check out his channel. And with that being said, let's get started. So let's jump right into it. Did you know that if you have a smartphone with an AMOLED panel, you can actually save battery just by changing your wallpaper to a black color? Contrary to most displays, when a pixel is displayed as black on an AMOLED panel, the pixel itself switches off. And that's partly the reason why the contrast is so high on these displays. Number two, we've got Photomath, a revolutionary mathematical application. For all you guys sitting your exams right now, this could be a lifesaver, because just hovering your camera over a mathematical equation, it solves them instantly. And the third one is that if you're in a serious hurry to charge your smartphone, turn it on to airplane mode. Disabling all the phone's communications can actually speed up the charging process by about 50%. What's up Mr. Who's the Boss fans, I'm Hamza and I'm another brown dude that makes tech videos on the internet. Anyway, today I have some really cool phone life hacks that you guys can use and the first one will really help you step up your smartphone photography game. The best way in my opinion is to buy a smartphone lens kit which clips onto the back of any smartphone. The one I have right here features two lenses in one and the first is a wide angle lens meaning you will get a wider field of view when taking photos. The other lens brings your smartphone photography game to a whole nother level. This is a macro lens and depending on how good your camera is, you can get some really awesome macro shots and if you are creative with it, the photos that come out of the smartphone will be amazing. I'm going to tell you guys another simple trick which is accessible in most modern smartphones and that is to turn on grid lines allowing you to frame your shot correctly and also try locking the exposure for better images which I always find helps. Next up is a multi-charging cable which merges all of the cables you would ever need into one. Whether you need a micro USB, a USB-C or even a lightning port, this cable has got you covered. You can find them on Amazon for under £10 and trust me, they are a lifesaver. Alright, now I'm passing it back to Aaron. So, you can drastically speed up your phone just by reducing the animation time. The default settings on a phone will be made so that it gives you kind of a smooth and slick experience, but not a fast one. It's simple too, because all you have to do is to go into your settings, tap build version 7 times and that'll unlock developer options, and from there it's just a click away. Now there is nothing more annoying than walking down the street listening to your fire playlist, and then out of nowhere a bad song comes on. You have to take the phone out, you have to turn the screen on and then manually skip track. Well the Frinky music controller gives you full control of the song just by using the volume keys. So once you've installed it, a single tap will skip the song. If you multiple tap, that will raise and lower the volume. And if you double tap on the up and then the down button, that'll stop the song. So I don't know about you guys, but um, my service provider hates me. I can get through a ridiculous amount of data if I'm not careful. And the main reason is background data. So you might be using Facebook, but in the background, you've got 50 other apps which are constantly sending statistics, checking for updates, and all of that consumes a lot of data. So going into your settings and clicking the off switch disables all of it. Alright, I'm back. Now, I found an app called Sleep Cycle which basically tracks your sleep and gives you detailed info on how you slept the previous night. It also wakes you up when you are in your lightest sleep. Now, the way it works is you place the phone on your pillow before you go to sleep, but make sure to leave it charging so it doesn't waste your battery overnight. After that, it will analyze your sleep and wake you up within the 30 minute span that you left it with. Really cool. If you like consuming media but want it on a big screen then a smartphone projector might be something to look into. They are really dope and awesome because you can just kick back and mirror everything that goes on your screen onto the wall which is sick. So if you're like me and you don't want to add a bulky case onto your phone then skins might be your best option. The one I have here is a carbon fiber skin with a red camera cutout. I really like the color scheme I'm going with with the black and red and trust me it looks really awesome and definitely stands out. There are a ton of companies which do offer skins however if you are in the UK then extreme skins would probably be your best option which is where I got the skin from. Anyway guys that's going to do it for my part of today's video. Hopefully I can see some of you guys over on my channel for some more tech related stuff and yeah. That's about it guys, alright, I'm out. So just to finish off, phone speakers suck. I mean there's the odd exception, you've got your HTCs, your Lenovo's, but generally speaking, nuh -uh. But did you know that if you put your phone into a ceramic bowl, you can increase volume by about 30% and even the sound quality a little bit? So guys, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it really useful. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then check out Super Extreme Video. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.